Okay, here's another example of uh, using the UDU substitution technique for solving an integral problem. Um, here we want to integrate x to the one-third times the square root of 1 minus x to the four-thirds dx. And when we're applying the UDU substitution, remember when you decide what you're going to call u, then when you differentiate that to get du, that du expression has to incorporate the rest of the terms in the integral. For example, suppose we looked at this and we said, well, let's try using call that u. So we said let u equal x to the one third du would equal one third times x to the minus two thirds dx. And clearly this would not be a wise choice because okay we would call that u but du is not one minus x to the four thirds to the one half power dx du comes out to be equal to this, so that's not going to work out for us at all. And when you look at the problem, the other clue is that you should call this du because x is raised to a higher power than what this is. And of course, when we take du, when we differentiate, this is going to get knocked down by a power of 1. So, we would attempt to solve this then by saying let u equal 1 minus x to the 4 thirds. Now when I take, so we would call this u, so this part of the integral here we would call u to the 1 half, but what about the rest of the integral? Well, we take our differentials and I have du will equal, bring this down, that will be minus 4 thirds times x to the 1 third dx. And there you see when we do that, du, x to the 1 third dx, and that's right here. So, when we call this u, this part, and we found du, it incorporated the other terms that are in, inside that integral sign. And of course we have a minus 4 thirds here, but that's no problem. We would just say in this case that minus 3 fourths times du equals x to the one-third dx. So now we're ready to make our substitutions. We can rewrite this integral. There's no limits on it, so we don't have to worry about that. And let's see, here we have u to the one-half. And that's plus one-half. x to the one-third dx that's equal to minus three-fourths times du. That minus three-fourths is a constant. Let's take it out here. And we have du. So now, with this substitution, this integral now changes into this form, which we can integrate right away. Here we have minus three-fourths. And u to the one-half plus one, let's see, that will give us u to the three-halves. And don't forget, we have to divide by this exponent, or we would multiply by two-thirds. And there's no limits here, so we'll also have an arbitrary constant of integration. And 
we solved this integral, but remember now what u is. We go back to our original substitution here. Uh, we can put u in terms of x, so we can come back to here and say this integral here x to the one third times the square root of one minus x to the four thirds dx that will be equal to uh, minus two fourths times minus two thirds. These threes will cancel, so we'll have minus one half, and u is this, so we're going to have one minus x to the four thirds, and this whole quantity is going to be raised to the three halves power. And then we'll also add our arbitrary constant of integration. And that should be the solution then. And remember the whole thing hinged upon that when we decide in the integral here what we're going to call u, when we take du, that has to incorporate the other terms inside the integral. And let's see, we've got a little bit of time left over. Um, let's just check ourselves here. If this is indeed the correct answer to this integral, if we differentiate this side of the equation, it should give us what's inside of the integral sign. So let's see, what would we have? Um, we're taking the differential of minus one half x minus 1 minus x and x is to the 4 thirds power and the whole thing is raised to the 3 halves power the differential constant of course is 0 so we're going to take the differential of this expression here and that will give us we have minus 1 half here bring down the 3 halves times three halves, then we will have one minus x to the four thirds power, and three halves minus one is three halves minus two over two, that will be one half. And we have to multiply it by what's inside of this parentheses. Here we have minus x to the four thirds, so that would be minus four thirds times x to the one third. Four thirds minus one is one third. And what does that leave us with? So two times two is four, so this cancels. These cancel. We have two negative signs, so that gives us a positive. And we then have x to the one third. And we forgot to write in our dx. This came when we differentiated this, and that would be four thirds with a minus sign times x to the one third dx. We left that out initially. And here we have an x to the one third times the square root 1 minus x to the 4 thirds dx. And that's what we have inside the integral here. So not only did we solve the integral, but we proved that our uh, answer is indeed correct. So that's how they work out. Uh, come back and join us for some more videos and we'll see if we can work some more problems.